In this session, we are discussing archival database and implementation of storage hierarchy. So, we shall explain the concept, we shall discuss on this concept, we shall explain our concept with proper diagram, but before going for the diagram and explanation, let us uh, know some terminologies and their detailing. These terminologies are very important for your coming exams and also for your technical interview rounds. So, here are the terminologies. Physical database, what is a physical database? Physical database is the online copy of the database that is stored in non-volatile storage. So, that is the online copy of the database that is stored in the non-volatile storage. Okay. Now, what is the current database? Is the current database is the current version of the database is made up of the physical database that means the database on the non-volatile storage plus modifications implied by buffer in volatile storage. So, whenever you are doing the modifications, then before getting it completed, the modification result will be stored in the volatile memory. So, that volatile memory is current content and this physical database will make the current database. Next one is your archival database. In the stable storage is the copy of the database in the stable storage in the quotient mode. This mode indicates that when the database was transferred from the volatile storage to the non-volatile permanent storage, then during that period of, period of time, no transaction was allowed to get executed. Next one is the current log contains the log information including the checkpoint. What is the checkpoint? We have discussed that one in the earlier video. Required for recovery from system failure involving loss of volatile information. So, this particular current log including will be containing the log information. What is log? We have discussed this one in the separate video. Please watch all of them to get the better concept. So, whenever the system failure will take place involving the loss of volatile information, this current log will be required. So, current log is actually containing the log information including the checkpoint required for the recovery of the system. We are going for archival log is used for failures involving loss of non-volatile information on all transactions made on the database from the time of archival copy in the chronological order. So, that means there is an archival lock which will be required during the failure involving loss of non-volatile information on all transactions made on the database in a chronological order. This is known as the archival lock. The materialized database is that portion of the database that is still intact after a failure. So, that is the database which will remain still intact after the failure. The intent is to limit the amount of lost data and the loss of the completed transactions. So, this particular database will, will survive uh, in spite of that failure of the system and actually it is having one intent. The intent is that is to limit the amount of lost data and the loss of completed transactions. So, these are the terminologies which will be required for the better understanding of this particular diagram. So, now here you see we are having the database users. These database users are working or interacting with some application programs. So, this is the application program number 1, 2, dot dot dot, dot application program number n. So, these are the applications are there. They are interacting with the database and database is working on the platform that is the operating system. So, when this database is, is, is with this particular database, the through applications users are working, they are generating two types of data. One is the log information and another one is the data information. That is the data which is going to be saved or going to get updated and so on. So, they are producing, these transactions are producing two type of data. One is the log data which will be kept in the log buffer and another one is the data for insertion, for update, modifications and so on and this will be, they will be kept in the data buffer. 
So there is a physical database on non-volatile storage. There is the current log checkpoint on the stable storage. So these log buffers will be interacting between the between the volatile storage and between this non-volatile storage. And this is the archive copy of the database on stable storage, archive log on the stable storage. So this is the respective hierarchy. So my topic was archival database and implementation of the storage hierarchy. So in this way, we have defined different related terminologies and these terminologies we have used in this diagram also. And this is a very interesting diagram with the help of which we have explained database storage hierarchy. So you see this is a hierarchical diagram. Thanks for watching this particular video.